All right, welcome back. So now we are going to make it so we can actually score goals. So let's let's uh, let's go to our ball and let's add a script. We will say local ball equals script dot parent. <clears throat> and we'll say ball dot touched connect function hit. And we'll say if hit dot name. Well, let's do this. We'll say red goal equals workspace goals, red goal trigger, blue goal equals workspace goals, blue goal trigger. If hit equals red goal, then else if hit equals blue goal. So here we just want to print goal scored, goal scored. All right. Now this the red goal that it hits, we want the blue team to score a point. Uh, so let's go create, <clears throat> excuse me, let's create an event called goal scored. And we'll do the same for red. All right, let's test this out. Now remember, it's not gonna show up in the UI. It's... All right, so now let's go look at the team scores. So the red team should have one. It does, perfect. All right, now let's. All right, we want to we want to know who uh, who scored the goal though. So we need to set these last player to touch and possessing player. When we shoot the or when we gain possession, we need to set both of these. So we need to say last player to touch equals. And then here we need to say last player to touch value equals player and then possessing player value equals player and when we shoot the ball when we shoot the ball we want to set possessing player to be nil and to we'll be honest i forget why i just did all that uh what were we working on we were working on scoring goals oh yeah we wanted to see who scored the goal so we just need to look at now we just need to look at the last player who touched the ball and <clears throat> go to our goal scored goal handler i mean let's go to goal scored all right let's try it out okay well we weren't on a team when we made that goal so let's go try it again okay it's working all right but before we end this video we want to update it in the uh, our gameplay gui so what's the best way to do this we got our timer label now we need our red score label we'll script scoreboard frame red score label local blue score label equals script here scoreboard frame blue score label okay and then we'll get red team equals game teams red local blue team equals game teams blue we'll say red team dot team score change connect function and then we just say red score label dot text equals red score label dot text equals game dot teams no it equals red team dot team score value then we can say blue team team score change connect function blue team no wait, blue score label dot text equals blue team dot team score dot value and it only lasted for a split second but it, we could see that it did work so yeah that concludes this video uh i will see you guys in the next one